On the island, Adelphi is starting to reap the benefits of being undefeated and ranked number one. Delphi continues to steamroll opponents. Undefeated Adelphi. The Panthers end the regular season 26-0. The Panthers are 29-0 heading into the NCAA Division II tournament. Adelphi ended, ended up the regular season the same way they started it, winning. Still standing tall. The Panthers rolling to their 25th straight victory. All of college basketball, Adelphi located out in Garden City, Long Island, won their 29th straight today. Bringing their record to a perfect 31-0 and in advance to the Division II Elite Eight. In cozy Woodruff Hall, capacity 400, on the idyllic Garden City campus of Adelphi University, the men's basketball team made history. The Panthers captivated their campus, community, and even the country, and will go down as one of the greatest teams in the history of Adelphi athletics. To be yes, I think the team had potential, but you know, saying you go undefeated is something you know, that's something to say, but it's hard to do. And now that we actually do it, that's something great. The 2000-2001 season started off with a convincing victory over the defending Northeast 10 Conference champions, Merrimack College. 83-71, who were also ranked eighth in the Division II preseason poll. In the win, senior point guard Ryan McCormick became the 26th Panther player to reach the 1,000-point plateau. The Panthers, who ranked as high as eighth in numerous polls throughout the season, claimed the number one spot after a 92-72 win over Dowling College. At the time of their number one ranking, Adelphi joined Division I Stanford and Division III Wilkes as the only unbeaten team in the NC 2A. Adelphi would continue to cruise through the rest of the regular season, winning the remainder of its games by an average of 27 points. When the Panthers finished the regular season with a perfect 26-0 record, they were only one of 992 men's college basketball teams at any level to finish the regular season undefeated. It's obviously a disadvantage now. You know, they take away the advantage from dominating a conference, and now we got to go to a neutral site and play a team on a neutral site to try to make things even, I guess. But uh, we'll deal with it. You know, we're 26 and 0, 27 and 0. Uh, we've won about half of those games on the road too, so we'll give it a shot. The Brown and Gold would start off the NACAC tournament with a convincing 107-68 victory over Mercy College. Adelphi would then earn a 19-point win over Crosstown rival C.W. Post, followed by a 16-point victory over Philadelphia University, claiming the tournament title. Prior to the championship game against the Rams, McCormick was named the NCAA Division II Player of the Year by Basketball Time. And then just, you know, coming up and being National Player of the Year, as well as NICAC Player of the Year, it's like, it, I, it's overwhelming. In their first round game of the NCAA tournament, the Panthers were paired up with Philadelphia. They had beaten by 16 points just six days earlier. Adelphi would handle the Rams once again, defeating them 87-66 and picking up their 30th win of the season in the process. Up next were the Purple Knights of St. Michael's College and a trip to the Elite Eight. Adelphi would go on to defeat the third-ranked Purple Knights 78-64 and continue its dream season with a trip to Bakersfield, California for the Elite Eight. Unfortunately, Adelphi's stay in Bakersfield was not long as they fell to Tampa, 82-68, ending their magical season. At the time, the 2000-2001 men's basketball team was only the second Panther team to advance to the Elite Eight and the first in over 35 years. They also account for three of the 11 NCAA tournament wins in the school's history. Their team set the record for most consecutive wins in a season and most overall wins with 31. And now, your Adelphi Panther. At guard number three, Ryan McCormick. At guard from Queens and Y, number 10, Tony Kelman. At forward from Wimbledon, England, number 11, Kevin Goodman. At guard from Baldwin NY, number 12, Jesse Sorensen. At guard from Glendale NY, number 14, 
Ryan Lawl. At forward from Jamaica and Y, number 15, Kendall Craig. At forward from Brooklyn and Y, number 22, Eddie Williams. At forward from Abiscon, New Jersey, number 23, Wayne Nelson. At guard from Huntington, New York, number 25, Bob Hiller. At forward from West Hempstead, New York, number 32, Chris Letts. At forward from Cambria Heights, New York, number 33, Dwayne Thompson. At forward from Forest Hills, NY, number 40, Adam Poshko. At forward from Uniondale, New York, number 44, Rich Ferrier. And at center, from Brooklyn, NY, number 55, five, Richie Edwards. The Panthers are coached by Jim Ferry, assisted by Pat Quinn, Van Macon, Chris Bernard, Steve Kaufman, and team manager Nate Fredericks. Let's go Panthers!